Today I'd like to address a topic that's been on many people's mind lately. How does a vap cap work? And more specifically, how does the air flow through it and how is the vapor produced? Let's get into the dynamics of how a vap cap functions. Vap cap flow dynamics 101. The airport is not a carb. So to begin with, let's uh, identify some of the key points on the device. The airport, and for this video and for future videos and for other references, is referred to the airport and not a carb because it's an airport that has a much more significant function than a carb that simply let in air to clear a chamber. The airport allows air to be introduced into this device so it can become an important part of how the device functions as that air then enters here and travels away from the mouthpiece towards the tip where it then introduces a significant amount of turbulence as it picks up vapor that is then displaced by the small amount of air that you see traveling underneath the cap on the outside of the tip and then through the material in the extraction chamber. On the other hand, when the airport is obstructed, which obstructing the airport to some degree can be very desirable for some users under some circumstances depending on what type of experience you're looking for. So in this animation you can see all of the airflow is now being directed between the cap and the tip. As it flows between the cap and the tip it is heated up by the temperature of the materials that have been heated up by your heat source. That air, as it exits the space between the tip and the cap, then creates a vortex and heats up the material that hasn't been heated from the conduction through the cap and is also displacing all of the vapor that's being produced by the material that's been heated up. What you'll also notice in this animation is that the vapor flow through the condenser is much, much slower because there's no airflow through the airport to help accelerate it or to mix with it to cool and condition it. In addition to that, what the animation doesn't show is that when you force all of the air through the extraction chamber, instead of just enough air to displace the vapor that's produced, the extraction chamber cools off much faster and requires a subsequent reheat. And it's not that it won't work one way versus the other, it's just that the way the device was designed and engineered to function optimally is generally with the airport in a semi-unobstructed or fully unobstructed manner. When utilizing the rocker, which is again opposite the airport, it allows for a very tactile way to locate this without looking at it and by rocking the device back and forth we can partially or completely obstruct the airport which then allows the user to tune the device for the airflow characteristics and the vapor experience that you're looking for. So one of the things that you're going to notice as you begin to modulate the airflow through the airport by opening it up and or leaving it completely unobstructed is that you're going to get a much freer flowing experience and a much cooler conditioned vapor as well as your device will continue to produce vapor for a much longer period of time. Back to the first animation, here again, when the airport is unobstructed and you, and you can see by just simply rolling the device a few degrees between my fingers, I can fully open it and I can partially close it or I can fully close it and it's very intuitive with the spine of the rocker in my thumb. This allows for that modulation of the dilution air and also the turbulence inducing and vapor conditioning air to enter the device which then allows the device to function in a much more free flowing manner as well as enabling the device to continue producing vapor for a longer period of time as we're not forcing as much air through the cap and through the tip accelerating the cool down of the little bit of thermal mass that we have. In summary, I hope this video helps explain how the airport is a very functional component of the device and is not a carb. So, please give it a try and you know, let us know what your thoughts are. Hopefully this improves your overall experience with our devices. Thanks for watching. For more videos, click here or here. And don't forget to subscribe.